leopards definitely like to eat these and other small creatures as well you know and, and I'd like to say that leopard probably elicit the most nervous response from any of the smaller social animals so from monkeys through to mongoose they all got a healthy respect for for leopard because of the fact that I think leopard when, I, when they're young do hunt them often uh, what you noticed there was just the the flight response from this group of mongoose and they've been sleeping in this termite mound last night these are dwarf mongoose the smallest mongoose that we find out here and they sleep in termite mounds um, mainly be because they offer ready-made shelters but also I think because termite mounds are very warm there's one coming over the top just poking their head out now they're very inquisitive things mongoose and what you're going to find is you're going to find that they won't be able to resist the temptation to come and inspect what we're doing albeit very shyly uh, and they'll do it with great attitudes now from a little bit earlier on I explained that animals don't enjoy the presence of humans on foot and very similar to leopard humans have been hunting these little creatures for tens of thousands of years and almost genetically programmed to distrust and mistrust create space um, bipedal man and in this particular case myself and Virma are hiding out in a bush uh, about 10 yards or so from this group they just waking up they slept in this termite mound last night and all this time of the year they'll get going a little bit earlier than they normally would in summer mainly because to find their insect prey that they feed on takes time there's not a lot of insects around at the moment they are definitely around but there's not a lot of insects and so finding enough to feed a family uh, takes a bit of time and they'll want to find another termite mound an unoccupied termite mound that doesn't have any snakes or anything else in it before the sun goes down and they will then sleep for the night isn't that cute I love their faces I think if these guys were as big as the leopard you're watching with Ali well, humans wouldn't nearly have the dominance that we have now these families for lack of a better word uh, are singularly led by an alpha male and female all the rest are their offspring and as soon as adolescent mongoose mature into adults they are seen off and they then walk around and pair up with other adults and create troops of mongoose of their own and I would say that they're probably the most common predator here mammalian predator here terrestrial mammalian predator is these dwarf mongoose and they can become very precocious and we've got one group that lives around the camp and they feel nothing for coming in to camp Uh, David from Napa, you wanted to know if uh, something was in this termite mound or there was a lack of termite mounds, where would they sleep? Uh, David, they, they would sleep in fallen down logs and cavities in logs and stumps. Uh, but generally where you see termite mounds, you'll find dwarf mongoose. And where you don't see termite mounds, you, they won't be nearly as common. I think because the Sabi Sand Game Reserve has such an abundance of very large termite mounds, the population of dwarf mongoose is very high obviously the carrying capacity of the bush is not just uh, on one factor alone and so it's not just the superabundance of termite mounds that makes it easy for these mongoose to live in these big areas but it would also be the availability of food and lack of pre being preyed upon by large birds of prey so large birds of prey that would prey on these guys include almost all the eagles um, and a lot of the eagles actually move away from here in the, in the winter time coming back in the summer which gives the young mongoose time to grow up and learn how to beware um, there's also a large number of snakes here that would would prey on on dwarf mongoose python absolutely snouted cobra black mamba would all prey on on mongoose but they also go less they're less active in the winter and i think that this this period the summer winter period allows for for mongoose 
to get healthy quicker and to therefore have a better chance at survival. Um, you do see mongoose, dwarf mongoose in the Mara, but by far and more common uh, is the banded mongoose there. Um, and I didn't see dwarf mongoose until basically Zambia on my trip down. Um, you saw banded mongoose all the way down to southern Zambia and then from southern Zambia all the way here you get the dwarf mongoose. You do find banded mongoose here but they're not nearly as common as these little dwarfies and quite nicely so. See this? Natal Gwari's flowers are starting to come out. Now Jared, you wanted to know do these mongoose eat snakes? I suppose you're getting that from a cartoon. I know when, uh, you know, trying to think about where you could have seen mongoose eating snakes. There was that cartoon Ricky Tiki Tavi which is a story about a mongoose uh, fighting off cobras and in India you... Oh, got oh, sorry, it's a book. VM's just confirmed it's a book. Um, so uh, it's a story about a mongoose uh, who fights off a cobra, um, and you absolutely get mongoose versus cobra in these Indian um, markets where, for money, people will pit animals against one another. And mongoose being so precocious and sharing this environment with a lot of dangerous snakes quite often will see snakes off of an area and they will put a mongoose against the snake and a mongoose will quite often be able to see that snake off or at least uh, cause the snake to shy away. Um, does that mean that, the, that they eat snakes no, uh, the larger mongooses will absolutely be able to kill snakes and they will eat them but generally speaking they will just mob snakes off and that includes these little dwarf mongoose. Even fairly large snakes, black mambas and cobras, they will be able to see off. Um, and I mean it, it is possible, I've seen a, a, a dwarf mongoose be spat in the face by a spitting cobra and was blinded and was left behind by the troop in actual fact. Um, they could form fall victim to snakes as well. Um, but do they hunt snakes is what I'm suppose I'm is the point I'm trying to get to and answer for you. I don't think so, no. Um, it's not uncommon I think to find snakes in their diets, but I don't think you're gonna find it as a common thing. These little guys here eat almost entirely just insects um, and not hunting for snakes. This is nice to see. This is a rhinoceros midden. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen that rhinos make middens before, this is evidence of it. So this is a rhino toilet basically, a white rhinoceros and I know that because of the presence of grass. If it was a black rhinoceros it would have sticks. This is just grass as you can see, no sticks. So this is the latrine site of a rhinoceros and probably of a male rhinoceros because it's been kicked and dispersed. Male rhinos kick their dung, female rhinos do not. And so this is the dung of a male rhinoceros. And it's nice to know that they're in this area. Rhinos, of course, being poached heavily and have been poached heavily for a couple of years. And uh, it's quite a sad story, but, you know, that's for another day. Right now we've got a leopard still.